ask yourself, is there a shred of truth in what is being communicated here? Because sometimes your constructive criticism can actually come from a fool, an enemy. But I do say this, that if your enemy is the first person to tell you what's wrong with you, you don't have any friends. A best friend is a friend who brings out the best in you. They can tell you openly and honest about you. They are not infatuated with who you are. They have the ability to be able to just speak into your life and tell you the truth about yourself, not to hurt you, not to impugn you, but simply to help you, to cause you to become ameliorated as a result of just speaking the truth in love. And there is a way I think that we are called as Christians to speak the truth in love. If you are always just trying to speak things not nice and flowery, you don't help a person by saying, you know, listen, you know, it's okay if you want to continue speeding down this road, but if you know the bridge is out, you need to stop and say, listen, slow that thing down or you're going to kill your fool self. And you need to sometimes look people, I mean, you need to have to shake them to be able to get them to see that, listen, I'm not trying to hurt you, I'm trying to help you. Don't be so sensitive. Don't be so narcissistic and think that the whole world is against you. But realize that there is a shred of truth perhaps in the criticism. And when there's a constructive criticism that comes from people who love you and who believe in you, and they can speak positive things concerning you, but also tell you, not only praise you for your areas of strength, but also point out to you your areas of weakness where you need to improve if you really honestly want to be better. If you really want to grow, one way to cultivate growth, in addition to asking questions, is simply also seeking out constructive criticism, saying, show me how I can be better. What is it that I'm doing now that I can improve on? How are my people skills? Not just how well do I do my job, how well do I relate to other people? Because sometimes your attitude is more important than your